have a 38 year old man who was brought to the emergency room at 2 am uh, with the main complaint of sudden onset severe pain in the penis during the sexual intercourse one hour back. The man says that he heard a cracking sound which was followed by the pain and the rapid loss of penile erection. So the pain man was having sex with his uh, wife and during the sexual activity the patient heard a cracking sound and immediately after that the patient had swelling in the penis and there was a pain in the penis and the erection was lost okay now he was not able to pass urine after the incidence and the pain has increased and he is trying to pass the urine okay the patient is trying to pass the urine but the patient is not able to pass urine and that's fine on examination you examine the penis and the penis was swollen and echymotic you stabilize the patient give adequate analgesia what is the next step in the management of this particular patient okay okay so what do you have so this is the image of that particular patient so yeah this is how the penis has been swollen it's a chymotic and it is kind of reddish understood right so what is the next step in this particular patient okay okay so this is this patient is having a penile fracture so how the patient is having a penile fracture i'll talk to you about it but this is a patient who is having a penile fracture but at the same time in this particular patient what are you having that you also suspect that the patient might be having a urethral injury along with it okay urethral injury along with it now if you would have listened to the like the section on the urethral injury what was the first investigation which we used to perform in the urethral injury what is the first investigation can you please tell me the answer is rgu retrograde urethrogram but over here will you perform an rg if you suspect a urethral injury you would say why not but here you do have a patient who is having a penile fracture. Can you treat this with medicines? Obviously not. You'll have to take this particular patient to the OT and operate. So why not take the patient to the OT and do a flexible cystoscopy? Okay, so please understand in this particular scenario, in order to evaluate or in order to understand whether the urethral injury is present or not, what you basically perform is a flexible cystoscopy okay now contradictory to the other patients after the renal trauma or something like that if at all you suspect a urethral injury what do you perform you perform a rgu retrograde urethrogram but in these particular patients what you perform is a flexible cystoscopy what you perform is a flexible cystoscopy okay now uh, let's talk about the basics of the anatomy of the penis and then we will talk about the penile fracture in detail so what do you have you have a cut section of the penis in front of you so obviously this is a skin what is this this is the deep dorsal vein okay so here on the top what you have is a deep dorsal vein then what do you have you have the two corpora cavernosa okay corpora cavernosa these are the there so these are your corpora cavernosa okay this is what is your corpora cavernosa okay now what is surrounding this particular corpora cavernosa is tunica albuginea okay so what do you have you have a tunica albuginea which is basically surrounding the these corpora cavernosa okay now what do you what is this this is what is a corpora spongiosa and inside this corpora spongiosa what do you have you have the urethra okay i hope you are able to understand this particular point okay now if i want to ask you that how does the erection happens erection happens when there is increased flow of blood in the corpora cavernosa so during erection these corpora cavernosa are very much distended with the blood and this is how the erection basically happens okay i hope you are able to understand this particular point now what happens is if at all let's say there is an erect penis and if at all there is a sudden bending movement okay sudden bending movement which can happen during sexual activity sometimes if at all that happens what is going to happen there's a chance that this tunica albuginea which is covering the corpora cavernosa can breach okay so this tunica albuginea there can be some breach in this tunica albuginea and if at all there is a breach in the tunica albuginea what is going to happen the entire blood is going to gush out and the penis is going to have a loss of erection and obviously the patient is going to have some pain and the echymosis and the swelling and all those particular things i'm making some sense to you guys okay i'll talk to you again okay so what do we have we have the skin then on the top what we have a dorsal vein that's fine then we have two corpora cavernosa and then we have a corpora spongiosa in uh, surrounding this particular corpora cavernosa what do we have we have a tunica albuginea 
we have a tunica albuginea which is surrounding the corpora cavernosa then we have a tunica spongiosa in between which what we have is a urethra now during sexual activity sometimes if at all there is a sudden bending force if at all let's say this is an erected penis and if at all there is a sudden bending force what is going to happen sometimes there is a breach in the tunica albuginea if at all there is a breach in the tunica albuginea what is going to happen the blood will gush out of that corpora cavernosa and there will be sudden loss of the erection patient is going to have pain and there is going to be whatever the blood in the subcutaneous region and all the ecchymoses and all those things now sometimes this bend is so severe that there is not just the breach in the tunica albuginea but the urethra which is basically present inside the corpora spongiosa even that can get ruptured so that is how sometimes the patients may have a urethral injury which is associated with the penile fracture am i making some sense to you guys i hope i am okay so this is how the patient usually presents when the penis is is in the erect state and there is a sudden bending and the severe bending of the penis there can be a rupture of the corpora cavernosa due to the tear in the tunica albuginea tunica albuginea is something which maintains that particular erection because it doesn't allow the blood to flow out of the corpora cavernosa during the erection but if at all there is a breach in the tunica albuginea what is going to happen the blood will basically go out and there will be loss of erection now most of the patients describe this particular incident with hearing of an audible snapping sound with loss of erection due to the bending of the penis and the fracture site and you know formation of an hematoma So this is the characteristic history which is given by that particular patient usually, and in it is mostly a clinical diagnosis, okay? And it is in surgical emergency because if you don't operate fast, the corpora cavernosa may lose its potential to have an erection in the future because there can be a fibrosis, okay? Fibrosis can happen, and over a period of time, the patient might lose their erection capacity so even if you let's say operate after 2 days 4 days or something like that the chances that the erection will come back is very very less so that is why you need to operate it on the